is a two deck trick, all right? Okay. So we got a blue deck and a black deck, pretty standard. All right, so for this trick, it's important that you see that all the cards are different. So I'll show you here. Uh, it's hard to see, I know, on camera, but if you were here, I would really let you kind of come in and, and get in there and really see that they're all different, all right? Mm -hmm. And on this deck as well, same thing. Uh, you'll just have to trust me. I know it's a little tough to see, but. All right, perfect. So we'll start with the blue deck, okay? Now I just showed you they're all different. I'll give you a bit of a better view close up but it's not super important for this style of trick though, all right? Um, mm -hmm. We'll take that blue deck and I'll put it inside the blue box and we'll leave it right in, in view this whole time. Now for this next part, I need you to choose a card. So just call stop whenever you'd like, okay? Stop. Right there, you wanna keep going? Uh, right there, that's good. Perfect, so you chose the seven of clubs. You can see that okay? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll leave that guy in view. And now, actually, you know what? Let's make it more interesting. Let's pull out all the sevens, okay? Uh, we got one, two, and three. All right. Now we'll leave these guys off to the side here. And now one more thing and we'll get into the real magical stuff, all right? One more time, call stop for me. Uh, stop. Do you want the three, the five, the jack, the four, the eight? What do you want? Uh, the three. The three, perfect. Take that three, now watch this. I don't really understand how this works, but it does somehow, watch. Now I showed you all these cards are different. Any card you, <laughs> any card you want. What card do you want? <laughs> uh... I think I see a 10 of spades. Yeah, you don't even have to see it. I mean, you can just name one. This is, like I said, there's a regular deck, so all the cards are in here. If, yeah. But you want the 10 of spades? Yeah. 10 of spades. Again, man, I really don't understand how this works. It's so crazy, watch. <laughs> now look at this. You chose which one of these? It was the clubs, I think, yeah? Yeah. None of those ones, but watch. Dash, duh. But I do want to take this to the next level, if it can get any more next level than this. I'll leave these sevens on top. And now I want you to see this visual change happen, okay? So watch. All right. Hmm, it's not, oh, I know why it's not working. So I forgot to tap the box first, watch. Blue, and not only that, watch. The whole deck actually changes blue. You remember the blue deck that was in this box originally? Watch, we tap it on the black box, flip it over, <laughs> and the whole deck is now a black deck. Uh, there you go, my man. I love magic, it's so cool. I can show you how you can read someone's pin. So don't say anything out loud though, okay? Don't say anything out loud. Let that first digit come into your mind, okay? What you feel it is. And just so you know, I'll tell you the second digit is higher than the first, okay? Second digit's higher than the first, that's it. All right, you got the first digit? Yeah, I got, I got both of them. I okay, got, I got keep, both. keep that in your head. Now the third digit, do you feel it's higher or lower and by how much compared to the second lower, digit? Lower by four. Lower by four than the second digit, okay? Yeah. And the last digit, you're on the right track. Is it higher or lower, and by how many, than the third digit? It's lower by one. Lower by one. That's actually, that's actually my bank pin. I've written down my bank pin right here for my card. And what's the digit you had in mind? Seven, eight, four, three. Seven, eight, four, three. You got my code, bro. There's no way. That's it. Actually, can you grab um, four black and four red? I think you already have them out. I'll yeah. do the same. I'll add yeah. some. Do just like me, okay? So let's go black. Red, red, black, red, black, red, black, red. All right. Yep. And square those up and flip them like this. Now, logically, if we deal, do like me, one, two, three, and four cards down, these ones are still going to be alternating, and so are these ones, right? Obviously. All right, drop those on top. 
I want to just show you just so you see that if you can, I don't know if you can see, but these cards are alternating, yep. right? Still as yep. we expect. So do exactly like me, okay? Red, black, drop them on the table. Take two more, drop them on the table. Red, black again on the table. And the last two red, black on the table. Now square those up, flip them over nicely here. What do you have on top? A black as expected. And if we go one over, we get a red. But now for this, I didn't have the power, right? They're still mixed, but you, had the power. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that, does, that doesn't make much sense. <laughs> you got pretty good. Thank you, yeah. Okay, uh, I need you guys to name any card you want for me. Anyone. The Five of Hearts. Five of Hearts? Yeah, yeah, sure, we'll go with the Five of Hearts. And now I want to make this Five of Hearts unique to you guys so you know that I don't have a second one, okay? So what do you want me to write on it? Anything you want. Just put like an R. An R? All right. Yeah. You can see that? Does, that? does that look good? Yeah. So watch this. Five of hearts. And you can see it go right into the middle of the deck. Okay? Every time you snap, it's going to do something magical to your card. So give me a snap, one of you. All right, watch. And it jumps right to the top. That's cool. Just like that, okay? Five of hearts. But watch, we could take this a step further, and that is your five of hearts, okay? Watch this. I'll take the five of hearts. We'll leave it right here. I'll leave it on screen. Okay, can you give me that snap again? Oh, that was sick. And it actually jumps oh my God. over to here and switches with this card, right? Now, I want to be really transparent with you guys. Watch, one card, and that's the middle. You can see that's the middle, right? Now, you might have thought that I switched the card, but you can still see the R on it, right? I'll place it down, square it up, and now give us the snap. What the heck? And it <laughs> actually jumps right back to the top. It's kind of crazy. For this one, I want to try something a little bit more maybe visual. So you see the five. See it there. I'll push it and we'll go into the middle with it and in like that. Now, you remember the move? Just a snap, right? Yeah. And if we see, oh, well this time it's the ten of clubs. I don't know what happened there, but watch. If I just wave my hand over the ten of clubs like that, I can actually get it to change right into your five. And for one last sort of demonstration, remember last time you were guessing the numbers and where the cards were and that sort of thing? Yes. This time we'll push that card into the middle somewhere like that and that's all I'll do. It's somewhere in the middle. I mean you can try to guess a spot in the middle but you can try to guess somewhere else and you'll actually see how the card jumps to whatever position you want. So name a number, any number between 1 and 52. Where do you want it to be? 34. 34? All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 30. No worries. 31, 32, 33, and 34. And the 34th card, the 5 of hearts with the R. Oh my god. <laughs> That's cool. So, uh, I don't know if you've heard the story of how Triumph Triumph was created. Have you heard of Di Vernon? Yeah, I know Di Vernon. Right, so the story was he was shuffling cards face up into face down, and one of his students sort of walked in and was like, what are you doing? And he said, you know, it would be amazing if we could shuffle cards face up and face down, and at the snap of a fingers, all the cards would be fixed besides one chosen card. So I like to, you know, imagine kind of what that would look like. So we'd probably take about half the pack. We'd flip it face up. Now we'll give it a good shuffle face up into face down. Hold on, there we go. Anyway, you give them a mix. So you heard them shuffle and now I'll show you that they're shuffled. You can see face up, face down, all kinds of cards, every direction. Now, like I said, we got cards in this direction. We got cards in this direction. It's just a total mess of cards. And the point here really is that you can see the cards are all in a, in a jumbled order. So what I want you to do is just call stop really quickly on one of these face down cards. It doesn't matter which one, okay? This one here? All right. So we'll leave that there. Uh, keep in mind, you could have had this one here. You could have had uh, any of these two, like, like I said, it totally doesn't matter, okay? So I'll look away, I'll show you that. Can you see that okay? Yep. And if you were here, I'd let you put it in, but I'll just put it anywhere in the deck. It really doesn't matter. 
we just put your card in face down. We can take this one, put it in face up because the deck's such a mess, right? It's just, it's just total chaos. Back to back cards, um, more back to face cards, I'm sure somewhere, there we go, back to back. And here, of course, face to face, it's, it's really quite a mess. And the story, as it goes by Di Vernon, he shuffled them face up, face down, a card was selected and it was the snap of a fingers. And all the cards were corrected besides one card. That's a good one. All right, just call stop for me. Stop. All right, you want, you want to keep going? Oh, you're good. Fine, just for you, just for you. Okay, we get, stop. We, okay, you're good now? I'm good, I'm good. You're good, okay. King of clubs. We need to make this unique to you. So we can put your name or anything, any word you want at the top of it, all right. Wizard Tower. Wizard Tower? Yeah, nobody else shows that word. Never, bro. This is the only Wizard Tower King of Clubs. You can see that. All right, watch this. We start- You're gonna feel, you're gonna feel so embarrassed when your magic trick is done? Eh, only if it fails. Okay, watch. You're gonna fail, my guy. I'm manifesting Maybe. on this failure. We fold it in a couple of pieces. Okay, just like this. Open it up. All right, now I'm gonna make those seams nice and creased because watch this, this is where it gets crazy. No, you, you failed the magic trick already. There's no way you failed. There's no way. Watch. That's a real tear. You can see that tear, correct? We can fold both. Why would you do that to your card? Because watch, bro, we can fold both sides down just like that. Okay, watch, I'm gonna continue the tear. Where you failed. You're I embarrassing didn't... yourself. Look, we got two halves, two halves. You're embarrassing yourself, stop. And now we'll rip it. Stop. <laughs> into quarters, watch. You look like a douchebag when you fail, you know? you're, you're... We got four pieces, you see that? Stop. One, two, three. Dude, three, four. stop. See the four pieces, watch. One piece, <laughs> two pieces. Your piece. YouTube audience are gonna roast you in the comment section, dude. Stop, Bro, I'm man. gonna put this back together. This trick's not as good if I don't no, rip it to the- No way. There's it's no not way. good if I, don't rip, if I don't rip it in the first place. If I don't There's rip no it- There's no way, Okay, watch, watch. You're, you're gonna glue it back on? No, mid, watch, mid, right mid, in front mid. of you. Piece one and two, in the mouth. These two go like this, okay, you ready? You put glue in your mouth? No, watch. Right in front of you, you ready? Yeah. All right, there's the first edge. Now what we got two left, you ready? You can see. What? And now the fourth edge, my guy, is the most difficult. All right, if you see, it still says Wizard Tower. That's really your king there, watch. No way. There's one edge. And that should be the second edge of our Wizard Tower. King fully no restored. Way. And if you were here, bro, I would give this to you. You could take it home as a souvenir. There is no way you just did that. You're crazy. There's no way. There's a way. Bro, I'm brave. No way. How'd you do that? You had glue in your hands. I, I know you. Weird, huh? you, you, you keep glue around <laughs> all the time. I wish. So much glue. I wish, but you could see there's no glue on any of these seams. These are just a fully restored card.